log in or create an account. Users of the previous Hydra app can use the same login details that you previously used. First time users should create an account. If you cannot remember your login password, please tap Forgot Password and follow the instructions. Enter your email address here. Then tap Send. A six digit verification code will be sent to you via email. Please also check your spam and junk folders. Then enter this code. Next create a username and then a password. The password should be at least eight characters, contain one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter and one number. It can also contain special characters. Then re-enter that password, then tap sign up. Now set up a household account. This will allow other family members to access your charge point using their own phone. Tap click here to begin. Let's take a quick look at the next information you will be entering before we go into more detail. The household name, randomised delay, the day rate tariff from your energy supplier, a night rate or cheap rate tariff, and your household maximum load. You can also enter notes and add more family members from this screen. So let's take a look at those in more detail. First, enter a household name and tap Confirm. Randomised delay is designed to prevent overloading of the grid if all of the charge points in your area are scheduled to switch on at the same time. They will actually switch on at some random time within the period you set. So at 600 seconds, the standard figure, means your charge point will activate sometime within 10 minutes of the time you have set. You can enter a longer or shorter period here between 1 second and 1800 seconds which is 30 minutes, or just leave it as it is. Entering the day rate and night rate tariff information helps keep an accurate record of the costs for charging your EV. The app will record both the energy consumed in kilowatt hours and the total cost to you in pounds and pence. If you do not know the cost for your electricity or do not wish to keep this record, you can skip this section. First enter a figure for the standard day rate tariff in pence per kilowatt hours. This is the amount you pay for your electricity during the day. Next set the hours that this charge is applicable to. Using the scroll wheels first set the time that this rate starts then follow the same procedure for when it ends. Tap confirm and tap confirm again. If applicable, now enter the figure for your night rate tariff. This is usually a cheaper rate offered by energy suppliers for electricity consumed during off-peak hours. You may also be on a dedicated EV tariff. If so, enter the pence per kilowatt hour figure here and the hours it is applicable to. If you are on a flat rate 24 hour tariff, you may skip this section. Next, you may need to set a household maximum load. If your installer used a dynamic load balancing module for your property, please enter the maximum load in this box. You can just leave it blank if this is not applicable. You can also add notes relating to the household account. You may want to record the name and contact details for your EV charge point installer or anything else that you think the rest of your household might like to know. If you don't need to add any other family members to your household account, you can just tap confirm at this point. To add other people to your household account, tap the add button. They will first need to download the Hydra Home app onto their own smartphone and create their own account. They do not need to set up a household or enter any other information. 
enter the other person's email address which they used for registering their app. Then tap confirm. If you try to add someone who is not registered, you will see this warning message. Once this section is complete, tap Confirm. Next we will set up your Zodiac charge point. You will need to be near to the charge point, have Bluetooth activated on your smartphone and have a good Wi-Fi signal. You will also need to know the login details for your Wi-Fi router. This can usually be found on a sticker on the back of the router itself. Once you have these ready, you can click Add Charge Point to begin. Tap Connect Device. The app will show all available charge points in your area. Choose the charge point with the relevant serial number. This can be found on the side of your Zodiac and on the original packaging. Tap Pair this charge point to begin. First enter your Wi-Fi details. You will need to type the network name and password exactly as detailed on your router including any capital letters and numbers, etc. Then tap Connect to Network. Your Zodiac charge point will now appear in your app. It may take a couple of minutes for it to appear. Your Zodiac charge point is assigned a default profile to determine the hours of the day when charging is scheduled. This can be changed by setting up a new charging profile to choose your own preferred times and which days this will apply to. When you plug in your EV, it will only be charged during the hours you set on this profile. Tap OK to begin. How to set up a charging profile. Here it shows that the current profile is set to default. To create a new profile, tap on the menu in the top left. Then tap Charging Profile Settings. The default profile is shown along with Plug and Charge. Both show the cost per kilowatt hour which you entered earlier in the setup process. To set up a new charging profile, tap Add New Charging Profile. First enter a name for this profile, such as weekdays. Tap the days which this profile applies to. Enter a start time and an end time for the charging to take place. Tap Confirm and create your new profile. Once completed, tap the back arrow top left. Next, you will need to assign that profile to your Zodiac. Tap Options, then tap Assign Charging Profile. Select the relevant charging profile, in this case Weekdays, then tap the Bind button. Your Zodiac will now default to the days and times you have set in this profile. The app will now also show Charging Profile Weekdays to remind you which profile is active. Now you can connect your EV. First plug in your car. Then plug in your Zodiac charge point. After connecting your EV, the app will show it is plugged in and commence charging according to the profile you have pre-selected. You can override this by tapping Start Charging Session. You will see a warning that this will override your default profile. Just tap Yes to start. You can now either select Charge Now to commence charging immediately or set parameter to charge during the hours you specify. To start charging straight away, tap Charge Now, then tap Start Charging. It will now let you know when charging will start. Tap OK to proceed. To specify different times, select Set Parameter, then tap Next. 
you have the option to charge by time. This is the total period of time, for example, three hours. Or specify a time schedule. This will start and stop charging between the hours you have selected. Or specify a limit on the total energy consumed in kilowatt hours. Or specify a limit determined by cost, e.g. five pounds. This is calculated using the kilowatt hour charges you set earlier during the app setup process. Whichever parameter you choose, just tap the start charging button once you have entered the relevant details. The app will now display the relevant statistics for your current charging session. You can stop the session at any time by tapping stop charging. And that has completed setting up the app and connecting your Zodiac charge point. Don't forget to unplug your EV at the end of each charging session. First unplug the car and then disconnect from the Zodiac charge point. From the app home screen you can also view records of your EV charging sessions plus view and change personal details in the me section. The app can also record and display statistics of all your charging sessions. The information can be viewed on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. You can also see separate information for your personal usage and your household usage. This information can also be exported and sent to you via email by tapping the save or download icon top right. On the Me page you can upload a profile photo, send feedback to Hydra EVC, change settings such as entering a new password and see all of the most recent notifications from the app. Or you can just log out of the app by clicking the icon top right. If you visit the support section of our website at hydraev.co.uk forward slash support, you'll be able to register your Zodiac, have more details or download the manual for the Hydra Home app and request technical support. You'll also find a list of frequently asked questions, a PDF library of manuals and data sheets for our EV chargers and details of your warranty. That's Hydra EV dot co dot uk forward slash support